So we're gonna get started with the decoration of the left panel. So we're gonna be starting with this gatefold. Now, uh, before we put any designer paper down, I want to make note of where you're going to be putting your magnets, because I tend to forget, and I think I did in this tutorial also, forgot to add my magnets. So I'm gonna show you where we're gonna be putting magnets. We're gonna start on this gatefold. So let me show you in the album. You will be making this little card that's going to be the opening for the skatefold. This card will be holding a magnet in here and it will transfer to this first flap of your gatefold. So go ahead on your gatefold, this right hand flap, put a magnet. You're eventually going to be putting a magnet there. Now this whole page, the skatefold is going to be opening up. So we're going to open this up and you are going to put another magnet on this left hand corner. In the video, you will see I had a magnet here and here. Only attach this one. If you do two magnets, it was actually way too strong. So let me show you what I mean. So when we open up the skatefold, I had originally put a magnet here and a magnet here. When it closed, it was way too strong and it pulled up another flap that I did not want to be pulled up. So what I ended up doing was only applying this left lower magnet and transferring it over to this pocket. So just put a magnet. Make note of a magnet here and of a magnet over here. And these two pull-down pockets have magnets. So you're going to be putting a magnet here, here, and it's going to transfer up to here. Which is, this is, we're going to be building a pocket, but it's going to be transferring up. So let me make note here for you so you know. We're going to have a magnet here and a here, and it's gonna be transferring up to here. Now this is going to be, we're gonna be adding a pocket just so you know that we need to make sure we add our magnets there. Then this whole thing is going to open and we are going to be building our um, boxed envelope over here that we haven't made yet, but we're going to add magnets here and here that are going to transfer over to that box envelope. So those are the placements of your magnets. And I also do use these little swing tabs that I'll show you how I made them. That every time we open, we this tells us to open, this tells us to open, and this tells us to open. So that's your magnet um, placement. So now uh, we'll get started with our decoration of with our designer paper. So we're going to start decorating this front flap. Now this front flap is going to have a magnetic closure that's going to be using this little cut apart. And I'm going to back it on black cardstock so it just has like that 1 16th inch reveal all the way around. And it's going to be sitting here with, let's see which way are the magnets? The magnets are going to be on here and we're going to be opening it up this way. Okay. So, but first we got to we got to um, add our designer paper to these to the gatefold. So we're going to be using this paper. This is the back side. This is the front side. And put some white underneath your your black um, flap, so you can actually see what you're doing. So we're going to use this left upper corner because everyone's 
paper is going to be different. So I'm going to mark mine where I want to cut it. And then I will cut that in half because so I'm going to be cutting it from here down to my tick mark here. And everybody's going to be a little bit different. Mine is coming in at six and a half across by 0.7 and 5 eighths. That's what mine's coming up. But you measure yours because you may have folded it a little different. Um, so it's better just to do your tick marks. I'm going to go cut that now. So I have these two pieces cut. And then they've been inked with Vintage Photo. And I'm kind of a heavy inker, as you can tell. And those are going to go like this. So one thing I wanted to show you, I have this ribbon in my stash and it is like three eighths of an inch wide. And I cut them into, what is that? Like two inch lengths. And then I just fold them in half and add a little dot of fabric tack to hold it together to fold it over. And then I let them dry and I use them for um, any time I have, have something that you need to pull open. I like to have these lib little ribbon openers. Let's see, come on, fabric tack. Just a little dot of fabric tack. Just press that together. I'm just gonna let that dry and I have several of them that I'm going to make. So I just have my stash so they're ready to take when I need them. And I'm just gonna make like four or five of them and then have them ready for me when I, when I start needing them. So we have our pieces for our front cover. I haven't adhered them down. I did put a little ribbon, kind of a little up from center, and I put my magnet here, and then we're going to be transferring a magnet over onto this page. But I haven't adhered any of this down yet, because we're going to be doing the inside first. So I found my center on this inside back panel and you are going to get this piece from the 8x8 collection of Sleeping Beauty. You're going to find the center of this page which is easy to find because it's four and you're going to match it up with this center and then you're going to figure out where you need to cut it on each side. So I just put my little tick marks on each side so they clear the, the fold parts here. And I'm going to trim it off and then I will get the, the height um, figured out. So I'm going to go ahead and trim these to size to fit in between these two flaps. So I got the bottom cut. I left the top totally intact, this stripe, and I've already inked it, but I, I, I cut it right at where that gold line starts right there. So right there, and this is left totally intact. So that's going to go down like this. And then on either side, we're going to be using this paper from Sleeping Beauty. And we're going to be cutting a piece on this side. Let's see, it should go this way. This side and this side. So it's going to be the same height as this. So 
just mark it right here. So I'll trim that and then we'll cut our pieces for these two end flaps. So I have everything inked and this is how it's going to um, look when you open it up. I have my score tape on the back and I'll be putting that down. Just make sure you do ink the edges. I actually do a double ink. I use the vintage photo and then I do the edges in um, Cafe Expresso. I think that's what it's called. It's called Ground Expresso. It's a re it's not black. It's a really dark brown. And I just do the outside with it. Um, it just gives it more dimension than the vintage photo. You don't need to do that. I just like to, I love inking. So that's what that's going to look at. So I'm going to go ahead and adhere that down. So just wanted to show that um, this is ready to be placed on this gatefold. I added my, my little ribbon, my little ribbon here, my pole ribbon, and I added my magnet and I've actually transferred the magnet over into here. Started my um, placement of this designer paper and then we are going to be putting this right here that's where it's going to go so uh, what i did is i drew a line where i know this side is going to go down this side is going to have designer paper on it don't know what kind of designer paper yet so this is going to go down like this so what i'm going to do is i am going to be pulling this tape and i already drew my outline of where i'm putting the edge of my card here and then I'm going to be um, putting this down. And then this front part will be done. So we finished this first panel. Oops. I still have to cover this with cardstock here. I did not adhere it all the way down in here. So I'm gonna um, put something here, but I don't know yet. I need to find a scrap, but I don't really have that many scraps yet. So I don't want to cut into any paper yet. I'll see what I have left. So we have this. I think that's such a pretty little spread. And then we're going to open this up. I put my little ribbon on this next piece, this next flap. So we open it up. And we come to this flap that has the pockets and we open this up. So what I want you to do is go ahead and turn this flap. This pocket, this page that has our, our um, hidden pockets right here, these flip pockets, turn that page. So now we are left with this three panel layout here. So what I'm going to do and I've already done part of it. This goes this way. This piece of paper and your collection of Wonderland, you're going to just cut it down the middle at six inches. Half of it's gonna go over here and half of it's gonna go over here. Now, these panels are a little bit more than six inches. So what I'm going to do is I am going to use this strip this is from sleeping beauty this page and this green strip here i'm going to be cutting it out and applying it to the corner to this side of the flap and then i am going to put the unicorn over here now this unicorn, I am going to be cutting off this, this saying down here. And I'm going to be starting at the, the ground, the ground level. And then I'll measure up to where we need to go. So it'll be something about like this. 
So I'm going to be cutting up in here. And then I'll be using one of these strips for this other side too. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut a strip out from here. I'm going to get this cut, inked, and figure out this part, and then I'll move on to the other side. So go ahead and just start with this page and cut it right down the middle, six inches, and separate them. So here I have this piece cut, and I attached this that strip, and I just used, I butted it up to the back side and used some scotch tape and inked everything. And this is going to go here, like this. I may need to trim just a little bit off here. Looks like just a tad. And keep this little strip because we may be adding it to the gusset on the other side. Don't know yet, but we'll see. So just to let you know what my piece measures at, it is, you can see it, but you always measure your flaps. Mine is, what is that, seven and one eighth. And I haven't quite adjusted, that's the height. And the width is going to be a little less than six and a little less than six and a half. But I'm going to get that and get that that placed. Isn't this isn't she just such a beautiful picture? Beautiful image. So this panel is in. I think that looks beautiful. Now on this side, I thought they were the same size. This one is a little bit um, wider. So uh, I have that here. And then I have my my little um, end piece that's going to go here. And there's some more space here. So always keep all your cutoffs. So this, I found this little piece. This is a cutoff from this. So I, what I'm going to do is I am going to, where did I just put it? I am going to, without inking, I am going to put these two together with some scotch tape on the back side. So I'm going to butt them up to each other and put some scotch tape on the back and then figure out i'm sure i'm going to need to trim this a little bit but i think it will look very nice so let's do that so here is the piece seamed together so i use some scotch tape and then put some score tape so everything is butted up next to each other because we're going to be going over some magnets so you want Make, make sure these papers are adhered together well. So that's the way it looks, and that looks very nice. So that is going to go right in here. Okay, so I was getting ready to lay it down. I go, oh, I was butting it up to this seam, this fold line, but this has a gusset. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get it centered and I'm going to trim off a little bit here and then I will put that little piece into this gusset so it's not just a black gusset and see how that works. So let me get it lined up and do a little bit of trimming there and I think that will be okay. So, so there's the final page, and it worked out beautifully, I think. That's why I love paper. It's You can fix almost 
any mistake with paper and it will still look beautiful. And that's why I use this and tape. I can undo anything and never ruin my paper. Um, early on, I'd use uh, glue, especially art glitter glue that dries way too fast for me because I'm slow and I would rip and tear the paper. You can't fix ripped and teared, teared, torn paper. But with undo, my paper always stays beautiful. Anyway, so now we have to figure out what we're going to do in the center panel. So before I keep cutting this paper, I wanna show you, um, this is what I decided to use on the centerpiece. The back side of this. So here, oops, the back side of this. So if we turn it over, turn it over. What I did is I used the right hand side of the paper, the one that has this twirl over on this corner. The twirl kind of goes with the twirl up here, and we have some flowers that go with the flowers up here. And then I am just, I cut it the width wise, which um, for me, what I cut it at is about six, uh, basically six and a half. And then I've just put this down and put my tick mark up here and I'm going about to cut it. Now I can't find my tick mark, but it's up, it's up here and then I'm going to put that down. Okay, so we got our swing flip down pockets. Now behind this pocket is going to be another pocket, but it's gonna be a flat pocket. Now it's going to be the length of this flap. So, I think it's around six and a half inches, but I'm just going to put my paper here and mark it so I know that's where I'm going to cut it. So I'm going to go ahead and cut that and let's see what did that come out to. That came out to one tick less than six and a half. So that's where I'm going to cut it. So I cut this, it's hard to see black on black. So I cut this so it's the same length as this flap that it's on. So that's the same. Now the height, so what we're going to do for the height I'm going to butt it next to these flip flip pockets. I'm going to flip the pockets up. And they moved the paper up just a little bit. So you can butt them next to the pockets. And when you move the pockets up, it's going to move this paper up a little bit. You want to cut that pocket the height of these pockets. So you just put this in, get it next to those pockets, fold it up, and then just draw your line. And that's where you're going to cut this, this pocket. So I've cut my piece and it is about three and a quarter inches tall, which would make sense because these pockets are about three and a quarter inches tall. So what you're going to do is add glue. Let me get rid of my pencil mark. You're gonna add glue just to the three sides of the pocket. So you're going to put the glue, pull this up, and then adhere it down. So let me just get my art glitter glue 
I normally don't like to use art glitter glue because I am slow. Get rid of my pencil marks here. I am slow and art glitter glue dries very fast. And my beacons, which is what I usually use, my three in one, it is, I am running out, so don't have, so I have to use this. So I'm gonna just do the three sides. And I, oh my God, see how I'm so crooked. I cannot draw a straight line at all. I love how crafters just zip along doing this. And not me. Okay. Didn't even get it up there. Okay. Jeez. So end to end. And push that up so that clears. It's down. Now we're going to be putting magnets, a bunch of magnets, so um, those pockets will stay secure. So now we're ready to start on this flap that has these pull down pockets. So I went ahead and put my um, little ribbons here, centered them just so people know to pull these down. The, what I chose to cover the pockets with, this is from the Sleeping Beauty. It has these little um, square cut aparts and I am going to be using, I forgot which am I gonna do on this side or this side? I can't remember which side I'm doing each one on. It doesn't really matter, but I, picked out one that I liked. Oh well, they're gonna go like that. Something like that. It may be, I think it was this way. I don't remember. <laughs> uh, it doesn't really matter, but so those are gonna go there. So those are gonna cover the pocket and for the, I'm going to be making a, using a piece of designer paper and then cutting it to form this pocket. So it's gonna be like a continuous piece. And this is from the Wonderland collection. This flower element here is going to go down like this. I'm going to cut it and then I'll be cutting it to form the pocket here too. And then these will go up and then you will see I believe that was the first one I wanted there. And then this one was going to go here like this. Something like that, or maybe it was like this. Maybe that was it. Does it really matter? No. <laughs> I just think that was so, so regal and gorgeous. Um, so I am going to go ahead and get, I've already cut these and sent, I just center it. It's three and one eighth by three and a quarter. And I just cut these. You can see how I cut it. I want to see up close on that one and see up close on this one. I want it to keep this top part intact. So that one was easy to do and then inked it real well. I'm a heavy inker and then I'll come back once I have, I'm going to go ahead and um, use my tape and put these down and then cut this piece out. So I cut this piece out from here, just be mindful when you're cutting. We only have one pack of 12 by 12. So I kind of 
draw where I'm going to be cutting so I don't cut all the way down um, just to preserve the paper as much as I can. Just be mindful of that. Now, when, um, when we do the pocket, I should not have put the pocket down until I got some paper in there, but what I'm going to do is mark this just a tad, a tad, I mean, a, we're talking about one sixteenth, between one sixteenth and one eighth of an inch below the pocket line. Um, and then what I'm going to do, I pulled back the, the glue just a little bit, and I'm going to slip that paper under and then glue this back down and then put the other piece on top. I just want it to kind of um, go into the pocket just a tad. So here's this piece inked. I haven't added my score tape yet. So it's going to just barely go into that pocket just a little bit where I pulled it apart. Pulled this down and then I'll re-glue the top edges. And then this piece, I've already inked it, is going to be going like that, right there. So leave a little bit of that black reveal up in here, and then it, it will be like this with those flaps closed. So going to add my score tape and then we will have to do the back side of the of the slip pockets. So I've got the pockets in. These are done in front. So for the back side, I decided just to use, um, there was four of these cards in the Sleeping Beauty 8x8 eight eight collection. So I just used the other two, I'm going to put one there and one there. So if you want to see it up close, there's that one. And then up close, there's this one. And remember to ink everything. Inking hides a lot of mistakes and it just looks more, it gives it more depth and detail. So I'm going to put those down and then we'll be finished with this part. So I couldn't really find any um, scrap parts that I wanted to do for this. So I got this card and it's just this on the back side and thought I would use this, the flowers. And you could actually use this too. That would, that would be pretty like that. That is kind of pretty. And then you can add like a little two by three photo in there. And that would be pretty like that. Or you could use the flower side choices, choices. Flower side like that. And not to put a photo in, because why put a photo in when you have such pretty paper? That's the problem with having such pretty paper. So I think I'll just leave it as a flap without a photo like this. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in. And then we will be done with this part. And all that's left is that boxed envelope. 